Hi! So, today I'll be showing you the dynamic blend shape driver. It's a very useful component that lets you access blend shapes by name when you give it a mesh reference. Let's go! Alright, so over here we have a dragon. And here we have already opened the inspector on the head where we have here all the blend shapes. And here we have an empty object that we'll be using as the blend shape driver. Blend shape driver. All right, so next we go to transform drivers and then dynamic blend shape driver. And then we want to reference a renderer if there's only one renderer on the slot, you can just grab the actual slot it's on and just slot that in here and it'll automatically fill it out. Then we just click add. And let's see, let's say we want to drive smile. All we have to do is we have to go to the blend shape name and just type in smile. Then we click update blend shape targets. It automatically hooks into this. And now if I slide this value here, you can see that it's smiling. Now the neat thing with this is that if I had a different avatar that had the same naming convention with the same or similar blend shape names, I could simply reuse a system that controls these shapes here and then just rename the shapes to match the avatar or if they're the same, I don't even have to rename it, it would just work. And th that's really all that there's to say about this because that's how simple it is. You literally just give it a name, enter reference to the mesh editor, you click auto, you click update, and boom. You can now you can now control the blend shape dynamically. Yeah. Um, I I w I wish there was more that I could say to this, but it's it's really that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. Bye.